first tonight, today's rather significant royal visit to the East Midlands. Weeks after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they were stepping back from royal duties, it was a case of keep calm and carry on for Prince Charles and Prince William, along with the Duchess of Cornwall and Duchess of Cambridge. Well, the courgette of senior royals have been meeting people from a whole range of different communities reflecting the life of our region. Coming up, we'll be hearing from our reporters who've covered the visit and from a royal expert. But first, let's have a closer look at where they've been. Today's visit began this morning with a royal flush at the Defence Medical Rehabilitation Centre at Stamford Hall near Loughborough. The Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge met with staff and veterans at the facility there. Well-wishers turned out in force at Leicester City Centre, which was the next stop for Prince Charles and Camilla, who went to the market meeting with local business owners. Staying in the city, the Duchess of Cornwall then headed to Leicester General Hospital in her role as president of the Royal Voluntary Service, where she lent a hand with the shop trolley, giving patients a welcome surprise. And with his interest in craftsmanship, the Prince of Wales went to Britain's last ever Rattan workshop in Thermiston, with the final stop, the Cambridge Satchel Company in Syston. Well, as we said, our reporters have been uh, rather busy following the visits throughout the day, among them Victoria Hicks, who's been at Leicester Market. And Jeremy Ball at Stamford Hall, the first royal port of call. We can speak to him now. Good evening to you, Jeremy. Good evening, Anne. Yeah, big day here at Stamford Hall, hosting both the first and second in line to the throne. But an important day for the princes too, because of their close personal involvement with the military. And they arrived here this lunchtime just as a heavy snowstorm was clearing up. The Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, two royal couples welcomed to Stamford Hall. They were greeted by General Tim, the driving force behind one of the world's most advanced military rehabilitation centres. For Prince William, a chance to try wheelchair basketball and a chance for his dad to lend a helping hand. Eventually, their persistence paid off. He borrowed the wheelchair from a major who was injured in a climbing accident. He's been blessed today and it's been really good to see and really enjoyable for the youngsters who are injured coming to see that and they know they're being invested in the whole time, so that's really good news. Then a visit to the prosthetics lab. This is a centre that deals with the British military's most complex injuries, injuries sustained from battlefields to sports grounds. It's very personal for the princes who've both served in the military. Prince Charles is colonel-in-chief of several regiments, including the Mercians. The DMRC took years to build and cost £300 million. It was the East Midlands' largest recent construction project. Here they're using gaming technology for research and rehabilitation, a world of difference from what it's replaced at the old Headley Court. It's a huge, huge privilege for us um, to have all four of them together, um, taking the time out of their schedules to come and visit our staff and patients and see what we're doing here is just, just a huge privilege for everybody and everybody enjoyed it immensely. Today the royal guests met some of around 150 inpatients who are now at Stamford Hall, along with people caring for them, and this plaque was unveiled to mark today's visit. The couples left separately after Prince Charles and Camilla's first trip here, but it was a welcome return for Prince William, who was patron of the fundraising appeal and who will undoubtedly be back again. One reason for that, Prince William has been pressing for a second phase of this project, what's known as the National Rehabilitation Centre, where they chair the military expertise here to treat injured civilians. But of course, today's royal visit wasn't just about Stamford Hall. There were crowds down the road in Leicester. And Victoria Hicks is there this evening. 